Well, these are days of pride and accomplishment and great hope for Cheryl Orgus, Nigel Reichards, and Timothy Walsh, along with millions of other Americans this spring they're earning college degrees, certificates of learning that can be tickets to opportunities. But unlike most of their fellow students, these three outstanding young people have read the books, absorbed the charts, and conducted the experiments without being able to see. They've completed without sight in a sighted world, and they have excelled. And we all congratulate you. Cheryl, Nigel, and Timothy, you have much to be proud of. You've brought honor to your families and are an inspiration to your countrymen. Looking over your records, certain shared qualities stand out. Integrity, determination, and drive. Your professors talk of your competitive spirit and say they expect great things. Well, so do I. Those who've had the privilege to know you and we who are here to honor you want you to know we believe in you. We're relying on you to continue to lead your generation, to improve the quality of life in your communities, your country, and in the world. You live with a handicap, yes, but because of your strengths and your personal courage, you've proven you're more than equal to the challenge. And you also have the great blessing of having been born Americans. Thousands of your countrymen volunteered their time and resources through recording for the blind so that you would have a better chance to reach your potential. Since the organization's founding 31 years ago, more than 55,000 students have been helped as you were. The volunteers who've made this program work are just one small part of a nation that's known for volunteers, charitable organizations, neighborly cooperation, and friends. It's been estimated that 84 million Americans work in their spare time at some worthy cause or contribute to it. Success like yours and statistics like these make me absolutely sure America's future is ours to shape, that no problem is beyond our ability to solve. The accomplishments of Cheryl Orgus, Nigel Reichards, and Timothy Walsh should make all Americans very proud. And the fact that they are about to begin their lives in the working world should fill each one of us with great hope. And that's why it's a special privilege for me to congratulate them today and to present their Scholastic Achievement Awards. I think I ought to tell you that this is sort of odd casting for me to be here recognizing you for Scholastic Awards. I have just been back to the commencement ceremonies of my own college in Illinois where I got my degree 50 years ago and then some years later they gave me an honorary degree and that made me feel doubly guilty because I always figured that the first one they'd given me was honorary. <laughs> <laughs> but now, this Scholastic Achievement Award to Cheryl Marie Orgus in recognition of the extraordinary scholarship, determination, and intellectual vigor displayed in earning the degree of Bachelor of Arts from Lawrence University. Thank you. Thank you. This Scholastic Achievement Award, and for the same reasons, uh, earning the degree of Bachelor of Science from the University of Florida to Nigel Bruce Reichardt. And to Timothy Allen Walsh, in for recognition of the same qualities, the degree of Bachelor of Arts from the University of the South. Well, I'm more than delighted to do this. We have to feel that in the mainstream that they put themselves, they're really going down the white water, aren't they? <laughs> yes, yes they are. Thank you. Not just mainstreaming. Okay. You'll make it. All Thanks. You. I learned one thing in school, and that is, and you've learned it. You know, it's a, the world can look very frightening when you're just coming out of school, but then <laughs> if you stop to think, you've been living in a kind of a community there in school. If you made it there, you can make it outside, too. Just a few more steps, thanks. That's right. <laughs> well, God bless you all.
Thank all of you. Thank you. go back in that outside world and go to work. <laughs> we thank you for taking the time. I'm very much pleased. Thank all of you. Bye-bye. Okay, you're all, you're all fine, and you're just right here, and how did you like that? Did you get, did you get the thrill of it?